Previously on Crowlow Trading Show. Today we are missing Yanis. We're gonna have to speak about discipline today. Oh, there he is! Mr. To Get Grilled today! The price, for example, comes quite close. It's forming another super strong resistance. So, how do I look? Yeah. look like? And even Thomas, you know, I think he's like really enjoying it. I think Thomas is an amazing teacher. <laughs> Welcome to Crawlo Trading Show Season 1, the first ever trading reality show. New episode every Sunday. Five randomly selected participants from all over the world. A two-week all-expenses-paid luxury trip to Dubai. Fast cars, yachts, helicopters, and of course, intensive learning and live trading together with the best trading coach in the world, Thomas Kralo. Tensions between the participants are high and drama is unavoidable. Who is going to win the grand prize? and who is going to leave Dubai with nothing. Only three days remain until the participants will hit live markets with real money. Who do you think will make the most profits? Place your bets down in the comments. And as promised, we will surprise the participants with some serious adrenaline shortly after. But for the time being, let's get back to the trading floor. Right, guys, good morning once again. Let's do a high five for the energy, positive vibes. Uh, Yanis is not there. Uh, good morning. I uh, hope that you guys are doing very well and that you got charged up with positive vibes yesterday. So, and today we're gonna have a lot of learning and then we're gonna be doing a lot of interesting practice. So, we're gonna see how you guys, how well you understood everything we spoke about because today is the day four of Prolo Trading Show and uh, uh, at the end of this week, we must make sure that you've understood everything, that you're ready to proceed into real money trading. It means that probably tomorrow and after tomorrow is gonna be you know, some more technical stuff, plus already practice from your side so I can correct you, so you can find the best setups, so you can place key market levels, so you can understand market sentiment, so you can identify the major trend and what's going on in the world and then so that we can prepare you, your view to the market in general. And then on week two, gonna just, just jump right into real money trading. So today I wanna cover one interesting psychological concept, which might be useful because right now everybody's positive, it's all cool, but when it's gonna come to real money trading, things can uh, take an interesting turn, right? So that's why I'm thinking that I want to introduce one interesting uh, psychological concept. Then we're gonna talk today about crypto metrics. So all the tabs that we have in there, and we're gonna go over each single one. I'm gonna explain how each single one works and how you should be looking at it and whether you should be looking at it at all in certain market uh, instances. And Trade with Bybit. $4,100 deposit bonus and 30% discount on fees. Claim the bonus using our exclusive link down in the description. Functions. And then also we're gonna open your accounts today and we're gonna start uh, looking at how you guys navigate to the platform. I'm gonna walk you through Bybit because in my opinion, it's gonna be the best platform for our uh, purposes here in the show. And uh, that's something that we're gonna be doing today. So that's gonna take us the whole day and then the rest of the day is gonna be a day off for you guys. I think today was the like most exciting day because there was a lot of things to process. At the beginning, we were talking about how to start your day with the training look. Like if you're not feeling okay, or you, if you're having like a bad day or something had a bad impact on you, you do like stupid things or stupid, stupid decisions, that's not good. You can lose uh, like a lot of money. Trading in general is one of those businesses that actually teaches you more about yourself than you have ever known about yourself. Even me, you know, when I started trading, for me it was just easy. You know, I thought that it's gonna be easy. But in reality, it was completely different. Trading has caused me a lot of pain in my life, and actually, it has taught that I am not as smart as I think, I'm not as strong as I think, and I'm not as mentally stable as I think. So, and that's why there is this uh, concept that actually helped me quite a lot. So the glass spilling from the slightest shake uh, is basically, the concept is very simple. So imagine that there is a glass, it can be this full, this full, or it, be, it can be uh, 
very full. This stands for your psychological uh, being and your mindset uh, on any given day. So for example, Thomas gave us like a really nice explanation about the glass, like fill it with water. There was like three stages. The stage one is like, if you like feel relaxed, you had a great day, you're like happy, yeah, go, you trade, do some trades. The, the second step was like, if you're like getting um, frustrated from not making any money today, it might lead to a step three, which, which is bad. You should just stop it and maybe take a break for like a day or two and then come back to it and start all over again. Oftentimes, we start trading when we are at level three, so that, you know, our girlfriend has made us very nervous, or, you know, you got in a fight with your boss or with your employees or whatever it is, and you're just having a shitty day. And then you're deciding, okay, you know, I'm so angry, let me release some anger in trading. This, this is the worst thing that you can do. Because at this moment, when you are at level three and something goes a bit wrong so that you know when you have a full glass and the table shakes a little bit it's gonna start spilling very fast so it's just a metaphor Jesus <laughs> Christ Yanis what's going on Yanis is not I mean how is this even possible it's the last time we saw Yanis he was brushing his teeth so maybe he's still brushing his teeth yeah. <laughs> The security guard, I showed uh, them Yanis' photo and they said yes, we remember that he was uh, leaving. So he left? Yeah, yes, he left the hotel, he's not there, he's not here. There was a tiny problem today. One participant was missing, unfortunately. I don't know why, but it was weird, in my opinion. I called him like when we were leaving our suit. Yanis, you are going? He was like, yeah, uh, just go, I'll come by. He was brushing his teeth. And, I, and we were like, okay, let's go, he will, he will catch up. We were like in the trading floor for an hour or so and he didn't show up. And I thought, what's happening? What's going on? Is, is he okay? Is his family okay? His girlfriend? I don't know. Something might happen to him. We tried to DM him and he didn't, he, he wasn't responding. And they couldn't find him in a hotel. The girl at the reception also said that he was leaving the hotel. So it was, it was so confusing. I guess I was actually gonna post that Instagram story and be like, where are you? Like, why did you leave us? What's up? <laughs> well, we had this incredible drop and we broke 3,000. Become a full-time student of Thomas Kralo, certified and accredited five months long trading education. Use promo code 20 off at thomaskralo.com. See you at the lessons. Also big capitulation. That's when, you know, everybody's imminently scared and a lot of volume goes in real fast. So right now we're still at the support of $2,900. In this particular instance, for me, when I'm looking at the price as it is right now, I don't really see anything that I would want to, you know, put my money into. In this red line, for example, it signifies uh, the biggest amount of volume standing at that area, but not in the sense of that the orders are standing there. It's actually in the sense of uh, how much uh, volume was traded at that particular price level. There was uh, heaps of more information about little, little things what I missed when I did my course, like the on-chain analysis. We, Thomas gave us so many new links what to like uh, analyze before we start doing our technical stuff. And now what we actually are seeing in uh, the weekly chart, which is something that I mentioned previously in one of my uh, other video, was that uh, we were trying to get into it right here and we actually failed and now we failed again. So this is actually in the weekly chart. This is not good. This is a confirmation of a downtrend. So short is selling something that you don't have, which is already confusing enough, with a hope to buy it back at a lower price and profit from the difference. How can you sell something that you don't have with a hope to buy it back at a lower? But this is how the short works. So this, this is short selling. But when you're gonna be trading with futures contracts, basically when you're opening a long with a futures contract, in other words, you're betting that the price is gonna go higher. And with, when you're shorting using futures contract, you're betting on the fact that it's gonna go down. So, and basically you're simply, when you close your contract, you are rewarded or punished in terms of a loss. Now we're gonna talk 
quickly about the steps of placing a trade. In my opinion, the hierarchy of, um, uh, of placing a trade, just like Angelina has asked. So basically the first step for you is to understand the market sentiment. So the, basically it's the news, what's going on in the world, what is going on with Bitcoin, what's going on with S&P 500, for example. There is a super strong key market level in Bitcoin and we are standing right at it and we had some kind of a false break of this level and we have a major trend going down in Bitcoin and uh, this is something that could be affecting and will be affecting all the altcoins. So having a, an expectation that some altcoin is going to climb unless that altcoin has a very good reason to climb because sometimes it could be that everything is falling and Solana is climbing. Thomas like covered like basically like this step by step how you kind of like open a trade so he covered like literally like everything so it was very good like for me basically because as I said before I'm not like a very day trading person like I used to be like long term investing so we need to first of all like uh, analyze the market like uh, try to choose like which market you want uh, like trading and then if you go like for crypto or like index you go like and go deep like in information online about like news and he explained about the charts, like how to set the key markets, the key, the key levels and how to calculate your take profit and your loss. So yeah, like for me, it was really, really interesting that side. It's super like helpful, I, I guess, like for everyone that would like to start in this uh, trading uh, business. Who is this? Look, there is a very special guest coming to Corallo Trading Show today. Sophia, my beautiful wife, come to, come to us for at least 30 seconds and meet all the participants. Come on, so this is Carolina. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Sophia. Yeah. This is David. Hi, David. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> then there is Oliver right there from Australia and Angelina. Uh, so, you went to, so we are working, we are trying to make money yes. and you're spending money. No, I'm not spending. I'm you did it raising for... the vibration. <laughs> oh, see, that's where all the mindset is coming from. Yeah. yeah. So, did you do some sunbathing? Sunbathing, massage, and in the evening meditation. I, I envy you. I want to do uh, you uh, here. I'm, I'm, go I'm going to the massage parlor. So, and uh, basically, yeah, after your entry, then there is the control stage. Free registration for Season 2 is open. Visit KraloTradingShow.com and enter for a chance to become the next participant of Kralo Trading Show. I'm sorry guys. That's one of the things I've never learned to do in life, you know? Having money doesn't mean you know how to write, so I'm sorry. Niaris is still not here, which is very important for him to learn, but I'm guessing that he has better places to be or a very good reason to be somewhere else. So, and I guess that's gonna be the first strike one for the participant, fortunately, but for that purpose, we have the strikes. Yeah, it was a surprise for me that uh, Yanis was missing because he was so hyped about this program, like this opportunity, and uh, he'll, he's been so open, he's been so honest, and he's such an awesome dude, but I don't know why he missed today. When we left, he was like, hey, I'm gonna catch you guys up later, like pretty soon, but after one hour, after say, two hours, he was still missing and we were like, where the fuck is he? Oops. Where do you see the entry? And where, you, where do you see a good formation for a possible entry into trend in this instance? And then there is also a problem with this potential entry. Just as a small test, I'll give you a hint. There is a climbing wedge. Maybe this one? Uh, by, by the, yeah, just place it like this. Okay, this is the first one. This is going to be our short-term resistance. Something like this? Yeah, it could be a bit higher, but see, this is also confirmation in, in at the tiniest here. So, I mean, you, you can certainly place it a bit higher by this one, for sure, but that, that's gonna do. And then we have also the support. So mark the support. There you go, almost perfect, yeah. Just a tiny bit higher. Well, yeah, yeah, I think like this is okay. Leave it like this and then try to drag uh, the left side a bit higher so that we get more touches to the level. Remember that the level has to be super precise, just a bit higher, okay? Now tell me where is the point of entry potentially? Maybe around here? Nope. Where is the breakout out of, the, out of this wedge? Nope, that's a false break. That's also a false break. Okay, David, it's this one. The break, you know, so it, it actually broke below right here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And we really have to rush 
into opening of the accounts, finally. And at least getting some use out of the trading stations uh, for once after five hours of learning today. So let's turn on your trading stations and let's finally work on opening a Bybit account. And also link down in the description for a $4,100 bonus for you, uh, my lovely viewers on YouTube as well. Then we open an account in Bybit. We start with like a little bit like with Bybit today, just like the the overall of the website. And it was basically like a very like over helmet day. It was a lot of information, but it was very good. So we are looking forward for the next day and to learn, to keep learning and start to trading and make money. All right, guys. So now your job is to basically go through everything, get used to everything, ask me any questions in the process. And since it's uh, day four and our studying is coming to the end, so I'm going to be giving you in the next, basically we'll have three more days of studying. We're going to be doing a lot of practice, a lot of polishing everything that you've learned so far, uh, placing of key market levels and understanding, looking for interesting structures uh, in the markets. And uh, I'll be there to answer your questions. And then I will really want you to become a united trading floor. You will still be able to ask me questions, of course, but I will want you guys to help one another and talk to one another and work on level placements together in some sense. So, of course, you want to be independent because you want to, you know, uh, do some kind of a uh, result independently. But I also want you to be a team in a sense of helping one another with questions. So, you know, developing as a life organism, as a trading floor. I just want to introduce some level of independence of you as a group. So, but we'll talk about it more a bit later. So for now, let's finish up. Uh, just play around for a little bit, ask me any questions, and then we'll reconvene tomorrow at the, uh, day number five. Sounds good? All right, cool. Put your trading skills to a test. Free registration is open for a huge Thomas Kralo online trading competition over on Bybit. $50,000 prize pool. The winner also wins a seat at season two. Link down in the description. You're right. What happened? No, I just needed to take a little break from, you know, learning the basic things for trading. Oh, that's a lie. Yeah. No, it wasn't a lie, dude. I went out and enjoyed Dubai. He was like in the room, like sitting on, on a sofa, on his phone, I stepped in, looked at him and asked him, are you okay, dude? Is everything all right? He, he said, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It's, it's everything is okay. And when he saw cameras, he like switched over and he was like, hey guys, hi YouTube, how are you doing? I just took a quick walk around the marina and took some really nice photos. Just a b bunch of bullshit. It just made no sense. I don't know. Why are you making up things? I, it, it, it was just stupid. Just, just tell us, be honest with us. He is my friend. He became my friend. I, I like to talk to him. He knows a lot about crypto already. But if, if you're not interested to be here or you don't feel okay, if, or if you're having any problems at home, please tell us. Maybe we can help you. If we cannot, then I don't know. I think it's your time to pack your stuff and go back home because in my opinion the family is, mo is more important than the money or the experience we learn here because at the end of the day it's not how much money you make but how much time you spend with your loved ones so yeah what a mess i don't know uh, i have traded before and psychology was the main thing that i really lacked and that was the main reason why I quit it. Since I know some basic things about trading, I just thought that perhaps I could work on my, work on my mental state. I, I didn't even know what the plan was. I just went in a cab, asked him to drive me to Burj Khalifa and don't want to like be ego egoistic, but uh, it's kind of boring in the lessons because I, I understand we, we have people who don't know anything about trading and we need to be on the same level. But uh, you know, for me, it's just, in a sense too basic I want to if I'm learning I want to learn like more precise things to like really step up my game but that's not gonna happen since we really need to be on the same page and uh, me leaving the group that's the most embarrassing thing because 
Thomas is such a great teacher and even though I understand the technical things, I really want to be part of this. I really want to get the general vibe of everybody, help them out if they need something and me just disappearing. I don't know, it was egoistic and dumb. So first of all, I want to say, like, this morning breakfast, I ate too much and I was so full. And when we went to trading floor, I was like, oh, it's so hard to sit in the chair. I want to lay down and just rest for a few hours. So I had like a food baby. Welcome yet again to everyone to day number five. Congratulations to Yanis. <laughs> For the first strike, so Jory had to do it. I came up with also a, uh, an interesting concept as a, a small punishment in a way for Yanis. I mentioned it yesterday, but you were not here, that I really want you to be a team. Uh, I also want you guys to be friendly with one another and actually help one another out uh, quite a lot. And so far, I think that Angelina needs the most help. So if you could help me out with that, uh, that would be very nice as well. So I'm thinking that uh, we should do some practice. Then we should uh, later go and get some adrenaline uh, to kind of refresh our minds and then come back and do more of uh, preparation till the late evening. How to make millions of dollars from courses. Please visit executivemargin.ae to learn how. Ah, uh, the Yanis' punishment. Oh, Yanis' is punishment. Ah. Yanis. <laughs> Yanis, when do you begin as punishment? As soon as you need. <laughs> it's not punishment, it's a gift. It's a gift, there you go, this is good, yeah. So yeah, whenever you need Yanis, let him know. Yeah, <laughs> So Yanis' punishment for like not showing up to class was that he had to help everyone and me especially because I am a beginner. I am like so, so new because remember I said I knew nothing about trading and now I know so much so I'm proud of myself. And yeah, he helped me out a lot. He's a good teacher. He really opened my mind and taught me about how to calculate and show on the chart my ATR calculation which I learned is very, very important to know because it shows me how much the market will move again. I need that information to know how I'm placing my trade. Yeah, and where I'm placing my, um, my stop loss and my profit, my take profit, etc. So thank you. Finally, first trade that we are doing right now over on Bybit and we have just not a big Trade, but nonetheless, it's a $80,000 short trade in Bitcoin. Really nice setup, and we're just getting into trend in accordance to ATR as well as the, just the major trends and taking a quick um, day trade, so to speak. So we have our entry, our current stop loss, the current price, and our take profit. So we're quite close to our take profit. Uh, just a small profit of five, six hundred dollars at the point. If we're gonna see our take profit taken here over on Bybit, then we're gonna make like a thousand bucks. So why not? And you can be trading on Bybit as well. Down in the description of this video, you'll find a uh, personalized Thomas Crawlow link, which will give you up to four thousand one hundred dollars in free bonuses. So you can do all this stuff yourself as well. And it's gonna be very nice because we have to have lunch now and then go do some adrenaline stuff because I'm just getting adrenaline, putting my money on the line here, and guys are just getting ready for putting the money on the line, also my money on the line. But nonetheless, we should get some adrenaline, adrenaline today as well. So and that's what I feel like. All right, let's go do some competition, because trading is not the only competition we're gonna be doing, so we have to go to a very interesting place and have another competition among the participants and see who wins. Are you a long-term stock or crypto investor? Use bestinvesting.tips and know what professional asset managers are investing in at any given moment. I'm ready. Did I ever do everything correctly? I'm ready to go. Where 
we're doing some competition before, you know, we need to get into that competitive spirit because the next week is going to be very competitive in terms of training. We're going, to, we're going to make the most money. And right now for us, it's very important to get into this spirit of competition. So we decided to go to Dubai car to drove and just get some adrenaline and get ready for the competition that's coming next week. Ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> First, analyze the track, then we'll give it a go and we'll see how it will go. So, let's do it. I'll do my best. I gave it everything. <laughs> amazing, simply amazing. I really loved it. I really love racing. I felt like I was one of the Warner Brothers Mario in Mario Kart. I felt like one of them. I felt like Mario just driving and just it was just like amazing. We did 12 laps or something like that. And they managed to get in the top 10. Probably there was only 12 people there, so top 10 is fine. But I still beat Thomas, so I feel good. Man, that go-karts was so good. I really enjoyed it. I heard rumors who said that uh, I'm gonna win, and the rumors were right, so. Who won? David won after yeah, all? Yeah, David. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I, that I won! I also beat Thomas, which is, you know, I'm better, <laughs> at least here. This is so weird. I left the last, I arrived the first. And my place is number eight. How? I'm gonna dispute this right now. Charge back. It was really fun. I mean, the guys really pushed hard. Like, Yanis performed very good. It was his first time, I think, and he was like just a second and, second and a half behind me. You know, I am a competitive person, especially when it comes to racing. And David beat me only by about second and a half, something about that. And I'm really, I'm really pleased with my result today because I was pushing like hell. I, you know, you can really forget about everything else and just really zone in when you're driving kartings, especially if you're semi good at it and you really want to like push a hot lap. It was cool. I really enjoyed it. So uh, we had a really good time here, but now we have to check what's going on with our Bitcoin short trade and it still is open. It was $3, literally it moved like $600 in total uh, into profit in terms of the price move of Bitcoin and it had about like $1,000 in profit and then uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but it was three dollars away from our take profit but our short trade is still open so there is still a good chance that the price will reach our take profit and we'll make more money that we've spent today so that's very good this is the moral of the story you know enjoy time whenever you feel frustrated and stressed at the trading desk always go out have a cup of coffee enjoy adrenaline enjoy life and the blissful of the bliss of being alive then go back to the office, check out what's going on, take a few trades. And this is the beauty of trading and being a professional trader. It's not as always as beautiful as this, so you have to actually know what you're doing, spend a few years trading, accumulate some net worth, and then you'll be able to have this kind of a life. So 
Make up your own mind. So we are back at the floor. I hope that guys enjoyed a little bit of adrenaline. And actually our short trade just got closed right here with a, it's a small trade and uh, quantity two bitcoins about $80,000 short trade. It was one X so zero leverage. And we quickly made after all the commissions, we made $800. So $774, which is nice. So enjoyed some good time, picked on the markets, looked at different charts and actually made almost like $1,000 while teaching guys how to trade. This is awesome and super nice ending to the day, but we still have a lot of things to do and check and do a lot of practice uh, before we actually uh, uh, finish up for today. So let's get to work. Whee! And let, let's, let's see the applause for the first profit of Prolo Trading Show. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up in the next episode. Everyone is getting ready to hit the markets. The countdown is on. Emotions are starting to kick in and a day off in the desert, Thomas Krylo style, sounds like a great way to end the learning phase of Krylo Trading Show Season 1. If you have enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Our team will be happy to see your support. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next Sunday.